Honourable Member for Dobell. Uh, thank you, Mr yeah. Deputy Speaker. Well, this Saturday, the Central Coast voters have a clear choice between a bare coalition government, which will keep New South Wales working, and the increasing desperate New South Wales Labor Party. And unsurprisingly, we have seen Labor conduct the most dishonest election campaign in New South Wales history, with a scaremongering Labor Party willing to say and do anything to deceive their way back into government. And these are the facts. The Baird government is seeking to lease, lease, not sell, lease 49 per cent of the state electricity distribution network, and the government will retain full ownership. By doing so, the government will be able to invest $20 billion to build new assets, which will be owned by the people of New South Wales. And sadly, the Labor Party have no ideas of their own. The modest plan for New South Wales will leave residents of the Central Coast worse off. And our local candidates, Sandra Kerr and Wyon, Michael Sharp in the entrance, and Adam Crouch in Terrigal, have stood up to Labor's dishonesty, bullying, and dirty tactics, and have presented a positive plan for the Central Coast. And the bullies are in the room now. The member for Shortland and Charlton. You don't get worse than that pair. A re-elected fair coalition government will order. deliver close to one order, billion dollars order. of new infrastructure to the Central Coast, including upgrades to Gosford and Wyong Hospital and major road upgrades, including the Pacific Highway at Arimba and new ambulance stations in, Ter in Tukli and Wyong. In 2011, order, the coalition said— Order. The Honourable Member's time to fight. I call the Honourable Member.